Hi, it's uh, Dave OHQ here, just making a little video on a product that I've uh, recently purchased, KBS Rust Seal and KBS Blacktop. Um, I've been using a brush, which it says you can use to get a, a paint finish. Um, and I've just made this video just to compare the two, because I've also sprayed my last item in, in the KBS. Um, yeah, here's a range of stuff that I've done over here. Some control arms, stub axles, some upper and lower control arms, which look fairly good. They have a very high gloss, as you can see. And if you really take your time, you can get a good finish on them. Um, but it's still not perfect. Like, compared to a spray finish, um, there's a, uh, there is a big difference because you can still get some runs from the brush if it's not done properly. As you can see in here, this finish on these control arms wasn't the best. Um, you can see paint brush marks and it's just not uh, what I was expecting. Um, this one come up pretty good. I don't know how compared to this one which you can see some brush lines in it. Most of the time it seems to level out, but some days, if it was, I don't know if it's a temperature or what, um, or you've ap applied it too heavily, or not heavy enough, I, I just couldn't figure it out. And it's, it's very time consuming with the brush. Um, I've also done my chassis with the brush, which I'm not too fussed about because it's, not a show car, it's just really for protection, protecting, protecting the chassis um, from rust, which had come up fairly good. I had to sand it a couple of times, but the last item here, the brake booster, I did spray it on and the finish is a lot better. I also intend to spray the uh, gearbox cross member, the power steering unit, and the diff with this product. Um, and I'm all gonna, just going to spray it on this time because it just takes way too long for the brush. But if you're a DIY type person and you just want to better brush on some stuff, this product was pretty good if, if you got the time to do it. But anyway, back to it.